Good afternoon, everybody. Got a Chris Answers Quora session for you today. Today's question was regarding bonds. And I think this is kind of timely because the question was, you know, what's the advantage of an advisor, I think, recommending bonds? I'm paraphrasing because the um, question wasn't so clearly written. It might have been someone English as a second language. So just I, I believe what they were asking was, what's the benefit of an advisor recommending bonds? And uh, to help us out with today's interview, we are dog sitting. So we do have... Um, Kimchi, who is uh, uh, very knowledgeable about bonds and other things. <clears throat> anyway, uh, so in today's, let um, me straighten that out a bit. So bonds, here's the short and skinny of it. So historically, bonds have been a nice diversifier from stocks because you had, you know, in times of duress or economic uh, difficulties, you had an asset that you know, you had a principal guaranteed by the issuer, issuer, whether that be a government or a company. So you had some certainty of your of your principal, and you had a pretty decent interest rate. You were earning five or six percent on your bonds, depending on how aggressive you got. It could be higher, lower. Uh, these days, though, it's a little bit different because you know most bonds pay very little interest if the issuer is safe. So, in other words, U.S. government bonds, low interest. Um, very well-known, well-capitalized U.S. corporations like Microsoft pay very low interest. Um, local governments, state governments, municipal, municipalities that are well-capitalized and, uh, and especially if the bond is insured, low interest. So you're not earning much from that front. So that kind of, that kind of part of the benefit of bonds has kind of disappeared. You still had the diversifier effect because bonds had a guaranteed repurchase, well, guaranteed principal. So at the end of the term of the bond, you would get your money back. Um, that's still there. <clears throat> However, um, you know, we've had, uh, 30 years, 30 plus years of, of dropping interest rates and bonds like, and bond investors like low inflation and stability. And so we're entering a period where our central bank in the U S has said, basically said that uh, a little bit of inflation is okay. And they're actually looking for it. This in my mind is wacko, but you know, this is the world that we live in. And so it's, doesn't matter what anybody says, these things just seem to become uh, normal. <clears throat> At some point, though, I think it'd be very painful for people that they did this. Um, this is kind of what happened in the 70s. But hey, you know, <laughs> what's history? Who needs to learn from that? Anyway, <clears throat> uh, so bonds and their protection from um, that they offer, the problem is, is, is if you go into an inflationary times, that tends to decrease the value of bonds. And, you know, no one wants a 2% bond or a 1% bond if inflation is 3 or 4%. And so what happens is if you own a 30-year bond paying 2% and inflation is 3 or 4 nobody wants that 2% bond. So the price of the bond drops. Now, of course, yes, if you have a 30-year bond, at the end of 30 years, the issuer has to give you your money back. But if there's been rampant inflation, the money you get back is not going to be worth much. So there's no inflation protection in a standard bond. And therefore, uh, they become very risky in times of high inflation for the reasons I just said. The values could drop in the, in the, in the uh, intermediate term. You have to go, hey, I got to tell this dog, you're sitting over here next to me, pal. Not that over there. That's no. Over here. Come on. Oh, yeah. Well, we'll take care of her in a second. But just realize that uh, his, the historical diversifying effect of bonds, now that the Fed has said that in the last couple of weeks, and they've kind of been hinting at it, but now we know for sure, um, you know, now we know for sure, uh, bonds have uh, become a lot more risky. And I don't think that the, I think that economic growth is more important now. I don't think the Fed, I don't think they realize, <clears throat> I don't think they remember from last year, December, last quarter of last year, how when interest rates or the expectations of rates rising a little bit caused the stock market to collapse 20%. And because we've, we've got the whole world drunk on very low interest rates, any increase in rates is a large percentage. You know, you go from, when you go from 1% to 1.25%, it's only a quarter percent, but it is a 25% increase in interest costs. So for people who have over-levered, they have more debt now than they did before because they're taking advantage of low rates, these increases could be serious. So they might have forgotten that. So they, when they head down this path of being okay with inflation, and then the market reacts by selling off bonds and then the interest rates rise on long-term bonds because that's what happens when the price falls. When the prices fall, interest rates go up. Um, the Fed might change its tune, but right now I think it's pretty dangerous to own bonds. So the, ad the advantage historically is the diversifier effect and the stability, but 
that may not be there. So just be careful. I think whatever, uh, if you want to diversify into bonds, it has to be a reason for it. You have to know the risks. And uh, I would be very cautious about, um, you know, loading up on bonds at this moment, especially when you're getting almost the same interest rate for a two-year bond as you would for a five-year bond and et cetera. So something to think about there. Thanks for watching. Any questions about bonds, income, I have, I'll, I'll link some things below on some things I've written about bonds and income. And, uh, but if you have any other questions, go to my site. Uh, you can go to uh, walnuthilladvisorsllc.com. Uh, go to planwithchris.com for planning information. And um, any questions, just drop them below. Thanks for uh, watching. Like the video if you like it. Please click like and subscribe if you want to hear more stuff. And uh, appreciate your time. Thanks for watching.